this is the schematic uh, uh, drawing of uh, a Ozeki septic tank to show how uh, the a biogas is produced. The any organic things uh, put into the first section in aerobic conditions, uh, the uh, changes into low fatty acid, and then in the second section uh, they get to the biogas, which include uh, methane. 60% uh, carbon dioxide, 40%. Uh, uh, this is the dimensions which uh, Ozeki uh, researched uh, for 10 years. Uh, if the organic things are properly uh, given to the tank uh, at the overflow, nothing comes out except biogas. Uh, we prefer the smaller one and uh, the local uh, I am work uh, in uh, uh, Walkworth, uh, made it for us and uh, brought it uh, to the site. Now it's uh, uh, worked uh, with a tradesman and also a big uh, the claim uh, was used. Now the tank was finally buried uh, in front of the kitchen. And you can see the chute, the square uh, inspection hole, and the cylindrical one in the ground. This is the deodorant. And uh, on the wall, you can see the pressure gauge. Now, this is the uh, connection of those this system. In the left, you have the uh, Ozeki septic tank, and uh, the biogas is uh, uh, produced and uh, coming through the deodorant, uh, monitoring the pressure gauge, and uh, through the regulator, it's uh, uh, given to the gas burner in the kitchen. Now, this is the starting point of the Ozeki septic tank system. Human discharge need a little bit of uh, half of its amount of water. The, a conventional uh, toilet uh, gives us uh, too much water to have a good biogasification. Now, this is a tool for washing up the toilet. Uh, then it uh, uh, was a very nice amount to add to the uh, our, uh, discharge, but it is out of use. Now, uh, it's a, a marine toilet, you may call. Uh, the, in the right pedal, you can uh, give uh, water, and uh, if you place uh, both of them, you can. Uh, uh, drain, expel. Now, uh, uh, the one thing I have to exp uh, the, uh, uh, tell you is that we our uh, downpipe was in oblique. That uh, uh, was not a good thing. It was forced to. We had to have it uh, 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 oblique. Uh, it gives me a few times, uh, not that often, uh, uh, trouble. Uh, that should be straight down. And uh, this is the chute outside the toilet, which is go which goes to the first section as well. So we put um, uh, refuse from the kitchen. Now it's uh, in aerobic, so we have to shut the uh, lid for the shoot. Then both human discharge and the refuse start to be decomposed in the first section, going to low fat uh, acid. 
then in the second section, the thin bacteria start to work and it start to produce uh, biogas, as I said, 60% of methane, 40% of uh, carbon dioxide, and a little bit other ones. That should be eliminated by the deodorant. Usually it should show uh, 7.5 kilopascals, that's the pressure under the uh, 75 centimeters water. I've used uh, uh, these days too much and it's a little bit of uh, in uh, low pressure. Now this is the refuse uh, which I got uh, in the past uh, uh, four to five days. Now it goes to the shoot. And then uh, looking at uh, the uh, amount of re uh, refuse, uh, it's compromised to uh, rinse the bucket and add uh, the water to be proper proportion. That means the refuse and water one to one. Now, let it uh, uh, be active under the inaerobic in aerobes. Now, the uh, 100 cc of water in a little pot, now uh, it's going to be boiled with the biogas. Now, just a uh, uh, gas, you know. Uh, well, uh, in the winter days, uh, maybe uh, once uh, in uh, four or five days to be able to boil water of uh, 100 cc. So you can't uh, expect much uh, for the energy as long as uh, you don't uh, collect uh, additional uh, energy sources like uh, animal dungs. Yeah, well, anyway, it's boiled. Though in summer, this summer I used uh, uh, to boil 200 cc of water uh, once in two days. Uh, well, I'll uh, show you such a uh, uh, past uh, statistical data from the past experience. Uh, tiny, only tiny amount, but uh, good demonstration that these days uh, does, do not uh, produce much um, in biogas because of the uh, cold uh, temperature.